Oh, this lighting is making my, oh, my tea looks so yellow right now. I should probably brush my teeth. Hey guys, so I just filmed a video for Millennial Moms kind of showing how I do my makeup on a daily basis. Um, and while I had all the products out, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys in a video over here on my personal channel, the products that I have been loving to use on a daily basis, just as a mom of three little ones. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. I've been on YouTube here for, I think about four years, and I upload lifestyle, mommy, beauty, minimalism, all those kinds of videos. Um, so I'd love to have you part of this community. And if you guys like videos like this, be sure to let me know by giving me a thumbs up. The first thing that I have been loving is this Physician's Formula Super BB Cream. This is so good, you guys. I tried the organic one and I didn't like it, but I do like this Super BB. It is so easy to apply and it's inexpensive. I have it in the color light. It has the SPF of 30 in it. One of my all-time favorite BB creams compared to high-end, low-end, drugstore, whatever. Great BB cream. I like it. The next thing that I have been using is this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. The reason why I really like this is the fact that it has a radiant finish. It's not super mattifying, so it really brightens underneath my eyes. My under eye circles are not completely gone, as you can see. It still looks like me, but this is a really natural finish. This is not high coverage. I do like the Tarte Tape Shape, tape, shape, shape, tape, shape, tape. I like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I like this for more of a radiant everyday finish. If you get anything from this video, which I bought everything in this video, but if you get anything, this is what you need to get. So if it's sold out online, I know it's because all of you guys went crazy and ordered it. This is the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear illuminating finish. That's the key, the illuminating finish translucent setting powder. You guys, seriously, this is so, so good. If you have tried setting powders and you feel like no matter what it is, your skin always just, it, it takes away that radiant finish on your skin. You know what I'm saying? Like it might look airbrushed, but it takes away that skin finish. <laughs> Does that make sense? You guys, I have gotten rid of my Kat Von D setting powder, my Laura Mercier setting powder, and I've kept this. Seriously, this is it. This is the best. And look at the finish. I have no highlight on right now. That is this. That is one step that I don't need. That's one extra thing I don't need and I'm trying to be more just simple with my life. So the fact, I don't need a highlighter. This is boom, this is so good. My lighting is getting really crazy. Darn it, I'll tell you what you guys. I try to sit down and film. <laughs> this is what happens. Oh my goodness you guys, this is gonna drive me crazy. All right, we're gonna hurry up. We're gonna get through this because I'm filming and I don't wanna stop filming just because of the lighting. Okay, so that's the powder. This is the bronzer I've been using. This is the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer. Some of these products are more expensive. They're not from the drugstore, but I will tell you that if I have a product that's not from the drugstore, it's because I've tried a product from the drugstore and I like this one better. This smells like chocolate. Look at that, this is my setup right now in my window. <laughs> the next thing that I've been using is this T Rose blush from Milani. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. So pretty, my kids are downstairs screaming. Everyone's okay though, don't worry. This is such a natural blush. It's so easy to apply, it's easy to build up. I don't feel like you can overdo it. It's just a really nice, easy, inexpensive, it's from the drugstore brand and it works really good. I like it better than other high-end ones that I've used. All right, everyone's coming upstairs. They're gonna invade, so I gotta hurry up. The next thing I've been using on the daily is this Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I love this, this is one of my favorites. It's so easy, you guys. I started collecting eye, eyeshadow palettes like crazy, and then once I started really realizing like who I am and really what I gravitate toward, I just, this is like my go-to palette. It's got neutral colors, it smells like chocolate. I found that I prefer, <laughs> the fact that these smell like chocolate make it way more enjoyable for me to put them on than anything else, so what the heck? These are the ones that I use because who doesn't want to put something on their face that smells like chocolate? You know what I'm saying? The setting spray I've been using is this Makeup Forever setting spray. An option that is also really good is the Maybelline Master Fix setting spray, I think is what it's called. I find that this works and it lasts longer though than that. And I spray this over this translucent setting powder, you guys. And the fact that I spray this over it, it almost brings the radiance out even more. Love it, love it. So if you don't wanna get a highlighter and you want something that's gonna set your makeup, this is like an all-in-one. 
It's gonna bring out the highlight in this. It's going to set your makeup so it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's going to take away any powdery look that you have um, because it's setting your makeup. Awesome, awesome makeup setting spray or the Maybelline Master Fix is really good too. I also use this e.l.f. under eye setting powder. This is super cheap, it's very inexpensive. I shared this in a holler haul that I did. You can get it on holler for like three bucks. I really like this. It's got kind of a pink cast to it. You're not gonna be able to see it in there and it's going everywhere all over the place, but it brings out, like it's got light reflectors that look really nice underneath your eyes. Okay, the next thing I've been using is this tight line from It Cosmetics. This is a super, super, super tiny, teeny tiny wand. This is for next to my line, like my water line on my eyelashes. As you can tell, it looks a little bit thicker right near my water line or my tight line. What I, I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> right near that place right there, it looks thicker. It's because of this. And then I use this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my ride or die. I've been using this for a couple of years and I just have never gotten anything else because I like this, so. When you find something that you love, you just stick with it. And then I've been using the Benefit Gimme Brow every day. Boom shakalaka. This packaging is kind of cheesy. I don't really like it very much, but it works good. And I've just been trying to look more natural. So hopefully you guys notice. Hopefully you guys have been noticing that I've been looking more natural in my videos. I feel like we all, we all venture through different phases where we like want to try makeup trends and we want to do our eyeshadow and like, you know, at least for me, I'm always going through. I feel like different seasons of trying different things, but this is what I'm liking and I hope this video was informative and interesting for you guys. Uh, once again, I did do a video using all these products that will be over on Millennial Moms in probably about a month or so. So if you want to ensure that you can watch it, then subscribe to Millennial Moms. I'll have it down below. Subscribe to my channel if you don't mind my rambling and you want to see more videos from me. So yeah, comment down below and share with me what are your guys' favorite products that you like to use. I have been loving to find products that are like all in one products so I don't have to, have the less stuff that I have to have, the better I feel. So I don't have to use like five different palettes for one thing, you know what I'm saying? So comment down below and share with me some of the things that you guys have been loving. If they are cruelty free, if they are inexpensive, <laughs> if they are amazing, then that's even better. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Have a good day, <laughs> bye.